Hi everyone and welcome to Let's Do Bonsai. It's Tuesday afternoon, we've finished work so it's time to come back here and carry on putting the roof level in. We've just had a mini thunderstorm, uh, believe it or not. Uh, the heavens opened and some good rain came down. Uh, good for the trees, maybe not so good for the polycarbonate. I've made the first few cuts to the first sheet of the polycarbonate and it's the awkward one that goes in the far corner. You'll see that the edge has been taken off down one edge there, the top straight into the corner and then this bottom edge has the bottom taken off at an angle also. I need to just nibble off a little bit more to, to make it fit correctly. The initial cuts was made with the 18 volt Bosch circular saw but I happen to have a little handheld 12 volt Bosch saw which so long as it works fine is absolutely bang on for these little jobs so uh, let's crack on with that and uh, we'll get this one in position straight after we cut the other small one which I'll just come up we have to cut the little one that goes into that little V section that you can see there that shouldn't be too difficult um, it's slightly angled at the bottom but this edge is the straight edge so it will just be a case of getting the length of this straight edge on the inside hooked up ever so slightly this way with another edge coming to the corner but uh, it's only a triangle so uh, we can deal with that that's not a problem So unfortunately the offcut of uh, polycarbonate wasn't long enough to fill that complete triangle so I had to cut an off piece and then make the rest of it and that fits in over there just about perfectly I'm not sure if you can see that from up there but that is the triangle that's going to go into place so we're going to take this up we'll put a piece of the plastic overlay at the bottom and we'll get it put in place and then we can start capping it up. got to be the brittlest bit of tape I've ever had the mispleasure to, to have to use.
just make sure that the gasket is all in place for the seal there So that's the first two pieces in place, we just need to put the joint piece in position now to clamp it all down. Okay, that took some doing, but uh, we finally got it, the first couple of sheets in place. I've had to cut one of the capping pieces of an angle to meet up with this one, so we've got a piece of timber up there just weighing it down because I've got uh, a bead of silicon across the join um, where the cut takes place the uh, the center piece that locks in is like that much short from the end so it it's trying to flick up so I've put a bit of a sleeper timber cut off up there I'll show you now so you can see the the runs and then where it joins just where that timber is the, uh, the join has just got a bit of silicon on it to try and make it weatherproof. The triangle looks pretty good. We just need to tape over the joint just there, but I'll be able to do that from the other side of the house next door. And then these are running to the end quite well. So our next mission will be to get around that pipe. But I think we're probably gonna be waiting until tomorrow so that I can uh, get that chunk of timber off before uh, before we go much further but I might be able to leave it on and uh, do that chunk of timber uh, you know just leave it there for for future so let's just have a think about it and uh, we'll make a decision about what we're going to do going forward on this one Okay, so it's the following day. Uh, we kind of gave up a little bit yesterday. Um, after a bit of wrestling around with the polycarbonate and the lead flashing that was in here, there's none in here at the moment. It stops here and then continues over at this part. So we've got a section that was taken out that needs to be reformed. Uh, and given we got to that point, I just said, right, that's enough, it's enough. So um, I just need to chop out a bit more of the cement and then we can start putting that back in. So we've cut our new piece of flashing to replace the old bit that came out. And then uh, we've got an adaptable piece that we're going to have on top of the uh, polycarbonate which we're going to cut an angle to sit at the top to create an additional seal around the pipe this is quite flexible and bendy so I've used the inside of this to create our cut curve for around the um, for around the pipe so that's come in handy already we normally cut with our straight cutters 
but we can uh, cut with uh, our left or our right handed cut and I'm not really 100% sure which way round these would be best but I'm going to use the left because I'm going to be going from right to left on this cut. Cutting around really nicely. And we've got a nice crescent cut finish there. Pretty much followed the line all the way, so we're quite happy with that one. We'll just flatten it all back in again. And we've just got a little bit of distortion on our bend, so it's a little bit. a little bit longer somewhere probably this end but we'll uh, we'll manhandle it when we get it up the top uh, it's gonna have to go in be squashed in and then uh, be bent up and into position So we've got our flashing, we'll just try and manhandle it into position. It's found its uh, place around the pipe at least, we'll just see whether we can drop it into the brickwork now. So that's gone in, we'll now uh, create some of our bendy pieces and uh, get that firmly in position. So the flashing is back in, we just need to re-grout all that and let it harden off so that we can start manhandling that bit of flashing again. So we just need to brush out the joint, so I brought a brush up. It's ideal if you get this dust free. You're never going to get it fully dust free, but if you get all the dust out that you can, it's obviously always going to be better. And then what I've got is a tube of mortar repair cement and it actually says on here that it's ideal for pointing up with lead flashing so uh, we're going to use this to put it into the, the mortar joint.
I'm going to have a bit more gun. This ain't going to cut the mustard, this one. Okay, so the uh, the new joint is curing up there. We are going to give that 24 hours minimum. Uh, I'm not going to start rushing and risking anything going wrong. Um, ended up having to rush out and get a new gun because the the plastic gun there wasn't cutting it. So we ended up buying a new one. Uh, that worked a treat. So we'll leave that 24 hours, come back tomorrow afternoon after work. That'll have cured. We could maybe brush it down a little bit, push the lead up and out of the way, and then start looking at uh, getting the polycarbonate up and underneath. Hi everyone, well it's back again. This is now Thursday. The lead flashing is in position, it's solid. I've bent it all up and out of the way. I've laid in the next level of polycarbonate in place and I've marked either side of the drain and I've marked ready for cutting out where we're going to cut the circular shape to go around the drain pipe. So we'll get on with that, we'll take it down and uh, we'll cut the, the circular edges as it's required and uh, get it into a position to get it back around the uh, Back around the drain pipe. So to carry out this next task I've got a 12 volt Bosch handheld jigsaw and this should uh, hopefully do the trick quite nicely. Let's hope. That's cut our nice little shape out for the drain pipe. We'll see how it fits and make any further modifications that we need. So that's pushed in really well. There is just a thin gap uh, all the way around, but we're gonna cut our little rubber ring to uh, to shape to fit above here to allow it to sit just nicely so we'll get up and cut the ends to the right length then we can put it in the final position and bring everything down and sit everything on it just right so there's our solution to the hole in the roof we have cut down that rubber gasket taken the Jubilee clip off, sliced the rubber gasket, wrapped it round and uh, compressed it back on using the Jubilee clip. We'll put a bit of silicon around the base of this just to uh, try and prevent any additional water going in uh, but I think that's going to be a pretty good job there. Uh, yeah, got to be happy with that. So we've got some remnants of some cut-offs there. We've got halfway down, or pretty much halfway down. We've got uh, three and a bit lengths in, which leaves us with one, two, three, four to go. I may carry on later this evening, but I may well just finish these off tomorrow. But that's going to be it for the roof, I think, for you guys seeing that. I'll get it nailed off. And then our next project is going to be the doorway. So we've got that to do. And then also we've got the other side of the wall to do, the guttering, etc. But it's slowly coming together. 
Okay, so that's here for me today for uh, the last few days that we've been working on the roof. So uh, I hope you go and have the best of the rest of your day. Make the most of it. If it is the end of the day, then have a great tomorrow. And uh, if you do go outside, please wear a mask. Be kind to others, animals and the planet. And as always, I'll see you again in the next one.